a 12 month uh, program that is based on four camps, so four three day camps of intensive work with the Kids Study the Cert 2. We do a number of different leadership um, and well-being type activities and stuff with the kids um, and there's a bit of a, uh, I guess, a, a mentoring component as well to it that uh, makes up that, that 12 month program the kids are involved in. This is helping me out a lot, like we're learning about like our dreams and passions and like life goals and it's helping out, sort of giving me a new understanding of where I want to be in life. So start of the program I had really no idea what certificate to business really meant and now all the work we've been doing at Maxima it's sort of I've gotten the picture of it and yeah it feels pretty good. Before this program I wasn't thinking about finishing school but once I started I was like yeah this is pretty cool I think I might actually finish school. That's like the top of my list. Resilience is basically it's our ability to bounce back after tough situations or difficult times um, you know going to a new school finding new friends um, sometimes that's part of how we build our own resilience ourselves. Doing their educational stuff and um, sometimes is a, can be a bit daunting going through and, and it gives them some points towards their stage one and their SACE that just makes it a little bit easier for them to have that I guess in their back pocket and um, you know, have a bit of confidence and you know, some of these kids they, they might be the first kids that have gone through and finished their education so it's pretty really important and um, not just so for that but they're also becoming um, really good community members as well. So I have a very mild case of cerebral palsy on my right side and the thing I think was the strongest learning for me was learning about how to be resilient and trying to learn about what's going on in my mind and how can I use the power of my brain and my thinking to really get somewhere. Yeah, it's great to have people like Katrina to come and um, you know really bring uh, a different element to the uh, the program. Uh, her story is one of that is is incredible. She's quite inspirational and talks about um, her journey from where she came from. A really talented. Um, netballer um, who's faced adversity and had to become resilient and work through that. You know, they see someone of her calibre um, and for her to be able to uh, make her story really personable for the kids is just in, um, you know, it's one of those experiences that money can't buy. Yeah, it's pretty good, like obviously going back with Andrew and Rachel to the football club and going back doing fun activities, you know, seeing all the players. They see Cam, Ella Shulman and Charlie around the place speak with Eddie. Um, you know, Sloaney and Tex put a lot of time, they come out when they can and, and talk to the kids. So it just um, makes them feel really special um, and you know, it's what the Adelaide Football Club is all about. It's given me a whole lot more confidence, like being able to walk to school with a head high, being able to walk through the schoolyard with a head high, being able to be who I am without being all shame. Yeah, it's pretty good to be graduating. I just want to, you know, make my family proud and finish school and the hard work that everyone else and myself have put in, it's finally going to like, pay off. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty excited. I'm like full pump. You know, you see that sense of accomplishment for them um, and, you know, it's just, um, you know, for us it's it's a bit of a start of that journey of this SACE and going through and we'll continue to follow the kids through and you know, I'm sure that uh, when they look back over this journey they'll be pretty appreciative of the Adelaide Football Club for giving them this opportunity.